one job. And again, got to a false start. There's always one, eh? It's the Count Texas Day One, and here with an old friend, Mark Edmondson from Inflow. Mark, good day to you. Good day. It must feel good to be back face to face. There's a complete buzz around the whole place here, so it's fantastic to be back. Everyone's so excited. I think it's like accountants at Christmas Day. Everyone's like been really excited. I've seen people counting down the sleeps, Rob. So, well, you've done a lot of account Texas over the years. Obviously, we've had a hiatus. Being back here must be good to have that in-person interaction. Yeah, I think there's only so long you can stand, stand staring at a screen and talking to people. It's been able to rub shoulders, go and have a, a quick chat here and there. And there's so many people coming to London for this event. I think that's one of the really great things about, about an event like accounting, just how many people are in the same place at the same time. Yeah, last time you and I spoke, we were at the Digital Accounting Forum. Yes. Uh, ran by the IAB. And uh, there's not been many events since then. Why does Accountex stand out in the calendar? Because you've never really missed one, have you, at Inflow? No, no, I think for us, it's 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 about the, the richness of the conversations that are happening here and, and just how many of both the, the vendor and the accounting community gather here. So I think you find some events that's more dominant one way or the other. Here, there's just everyone who's everyone is going to be here. And I think it's going to be really great bumping shoulders with other tech vendors out there, trying to explore ways we can work together and, and really catching up with both customers and people who are really at the start of their digital transformation journey. Yeah, now you've got the stand, you've got the staff, you've got the swag. It's a big investment. Yeah. How do you go about measuring whether something like this has been successful? It, it's, it's really difficult. I mean, there's obviously some of the direct tangibles where you'll be able to kind of actually quantify people who sign up on the back of events like this. Okay. But the intangibles are, are really difficult to measure, Rob, in terms of, you know, catching up with customers and just, you know, building relationships, yeah. being able to rub shoulders with other vendors that might turn into collaborations or other things. So I think there's, it's very difficult to quantify it. Um, ultimately, it's an investment in the brand it's an investment in the awareness and it, it's an it's an effort to make sure that everyone knows who inflow is and what we do yeah now you're not just a purveyor of software you are a speaker you have your own thought leadership you're doing some talks here over the next couple of days aren't you tell us about them yeah so i'm going to be talking about the the digital audit and the opportunities that are available to firms uh, we're very much seeing that opportunity for firms to start to not just buy technology and try and plug it in but actually recognize that they're really on the back of everything that's happened in the last few years, a real expedition of digital transformation in the accounting sector. We've seen it already happen in the accounting and bookkeeping space. The likes of Sage, Zero, QuickBooks have all really pushed that agenda. Yeah. We're focused on the audit sector, that more, should we say, that more sophisticated compliance space. And I think what we've seen there has been um, an underinvestment over the years by both the firms and the vendors in terms of what firms can use to do audit work. So really the opportunity is here now to elevate the value of audit work, to really recognize some of the challenges, and that's what I'm going to be talking about in my, my, my talk. Well, audit's certainly been under more scrutiny over recent years, we know that, but is it, is it sexy? Is it current? Is it vibing with the zeitgeist? Or is it interesting? Well, it depends, doesn't it? It depends on how you're actually approaching it. Are well, you, you make it interesting. We make it interesting. Yeah. We make it colourful for a yeah. start off anyway. But no, for me, yes, it is. And there's an opportunity there to move from what's been perceived as more of a checklist orientated compliance exercise that the client sees as somewhat of a burden, yeah. but it's driven by regulation, yeah. to actually something which is valuable. How can we use data to automate some of the mundane activities that, being frank, nobody wants to do? and start to elevate the time that auditors spend actually focused on value-adding activities. So visualizations, data insights, benchmarking, all of that stuff completely changes the audit proposition. Yeah, now you're English, you're here in the UK, but Inflow are a global brand, aren't they? Yes. For people that don't know, tell us what Inflow do. So in simple terms, Inflow do four things. We, we help firms collaborate. Counting these off. Count them no. off, I'm gonna do it as well, because okay. I'm an accountant this, still at heart. And you've done this before, haven't you? Exactly. <laughs> number one. So, number one, we firstly established Establish a more a collaborative experience to working with the client. So it's client collaboration, it's sharing files, sharing information, okay. and starting to share data instead of files. Yeah. The second piece, which we're most known for, data analytics. Right. So how can we take data from client accounting systems and produce data analytical techniques which automate something that accountants are already doing? We're trying to replace what they do rather than add more work. The third piece, 
is an audit work papers and methodology approach. So recognizing that data analytics completely changes the way that you can actually approach the audit process, we've built our own proprietary audit methodology and our audit documentation tool, which if you put these things together, starts to really transform the way you audit. And the fourth one, we only released it last month, so this is hot off the press, okay. is our quality management product. So really technical, but in the audit space, auditors need to implement some new systems and processes to support quality management, which is a, a regulation-driven new set of standards, Rob. Yeah. And that's going to be something where people are going to be wrestling with Excel trying to do that. We've built a technology that makes it so much easier and so much quicker. Put those all together, you've got a comprehensive suite. But we've also got the flexibility for firms to be able to bolt on one or two of these pieces to complement what they're already doing. You mentioned data analytics. There's such an overload for accounting practices isn't it, these days. There's so much to keep on top of. How do you help them with that? Well, I think first and foremost is to recognize what the skills and involvement of the accountant we want in a space like data analytics. Right. Because data analytics can mean many things. It's a very broad category. It could, on one extreme end, mean that you're basically manually doing a lot of work in Excel. That could be packaged up as data analytics. Okay. Or you could be using like desktop-based tools where you're going to have to think about reskilling your practice to be data scientists somewhat. They're going to have to be able to extract the data from the client system. They're going to have to be able to transform these horrible formats of data into something that's useful. And then they're going to have to produce all the visualization and analysis. Now, our approach to data analytics is to say, we don't think accountants should be data scientists. Yeah. We think what they should do is focus on the interpretation, the analysis, and the insight on what the data is telling us, not how do we get to those insights. Yeah. So what we do is we automate all of that front end piece. So we automate the extraction of the data, the transformation of the data. We make sure it's valid, complete, and accurate. And then we automatically produce a bunch of consistent insights on every single client. Now, what does that mean? Well, the client and the team don't spend any time at all on all of the pre-work. They jump straight to, well, what does this mean? What is this telling me about this client, the risks involved, or potentially how this compares to other clients? Because now we've got that comparability across them all. Yeah. You sound very passionate about it. It's like you enjoy what you do. It's it's almost like it's a hobby, eh? <laughs> I've got to ask you, Mark. There are your competition are in this room. Yeah. There are people in here that have elements of what you do, maybe even most of it. How fixed are you to compete over the next few years? Well, we're in a really great position because we've got that flexibility. So where I think there's been challenges in the profession before is almost like you had to be a certain type of firm. You had to be committed to a siloed set of tools. Okay. Now, we've got the breadth that you can come to us and get everything you like want. Like an all-in-one, your favorite all in one that. Suite okay. if you want. Sweet. So absolutely, we come across many people who compete with little bits of yeah. what we do. Best in class so type thing, many bit of that, bit of yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. But I like to think that we're both best in class at those individual bits, and we offer the comprehensive integration across all of it. Because you could go and basically buy, I think, Rob, I think based on my latest workings, it might be six or eight different products okay. to get to Inflow. Right. right. So you could go and buy six or eight different products and glue it together. And I'll tell you now, you still won't have Inflow. No. But you can also acknowledge that, hang on, I'm really committed to this particular tool in my practice already. We've got the flexibility to almost wrap our technology around that and really make it work for the firm. So I think our biggest advantage is both flexibility in terms of that, do you want the suite or do yeah. you just want bits of the approach? And we're really strong best in class as well. Put us next to any individual technology and I, I'd like to think we'll be standing up really well, Rob. I so, wouldn't want to go up against you, Mark. I, I, well, <laughs> the thing is, I think for us, is there's a, you know, there is a passion behind this, but we're also fundamentally auditors and accountants who yeah. founded this business. And so we know exactly what everyone's trying to do here. And let's be honest, most people are struggling with capacity right now. So we're really zeroed in on how can we use these technologies to free capacity from the existing team and increase fee income. Yeah. And I don't see many firms right now who aren't looking to get more capacity and grow their business. Wow. Last question, Mark. What skills attributes do you feel accounting professionals are going to need over the next few years to be successful, stay competitive? I think for me, Rob, is a real focus, and this is something we're doing and with the ICAW as part of the ACA quality. Okay. is really trying to embed some of the understanding of how data and data analytics and technology work. They're going to need that skill set. But, but the skill set isn't about how to replicate that. I, you know, I use the analogy of, I don't know how my engine in my car works, but I know how to drive it. I know how to drive it probably a little bit faster than I should. But the, the, the point is that 
I know how to be able to interpret and understand what I need to do and where I need to go. Yeah. So I think for me, at the top of the accounting firm, we're going to need to be far more strategic. It's no longer about picking this discrete technology or doing this individual move. We need to be thinking as a firm about where are we going in three to five years? And do we have at the top of the firm that perspective of people who've just been in this firm their entire career or they've actually tapped into you know experts like yourself to give them a broader perspective and to understand what learn what they don't know almost. and the second piece is probably at the lower levels focusing maybe a little bit less on some of the technical side of things where we're going to see technology be able to support that more and more and focus more on I'd, 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 I'd say the more emotional skills so how do okay. we actually communicate clearly with firms how do we actually proposition better in terms of the way we price and we sell our work. And tell the stories behind the numbers I, perhaps. I love the storytelling piece yeah, as well yeah. Rob. I think there's the story behind the numbers is so much more powerful. So, so that's where I see it. I know yeah. that many people here at Accountex will be sharing all sorts of different views. Um, I know you you feel quite aligned with some of those thinking but you know, does that, does that correlate with how you approach Definitely this, the soft side of things because it's okay having the the tech skills, the technological skills, uh, but you've got to be able to tell the stories. You've got to convince clients to make decisions based on your data and your advice, and then follow that through with them so they make the, they take the action that they need to to be successful. Yeah. And I suppose that's true in audit as much as anywhere. It's 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 true in every every business. I think that, that there's there's much more opportunity in audit, in tax, in advisory, just because a lot of time there's just higher fees available yeah. there. But we're seeing a real boom in audit right now, and I think we should really capitalize on that to really reinvigorate what has been seen as quite a traditional and maybe stale service over the years. Well, Mark Edmondson of Inflow, and the poster boy of audit, it's been great to talk to you. Thanks for your time. Thanks very much, Rob.